All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers, he has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Voodoo! You have seatbelt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Trying to establish that jab once again. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Just out of range with that right hook. And 
they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, collar tie. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Just missed with the left there. What a punch. Misses with the left hook. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. It won't take many of those. And he looks, yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he's got some of the best chokes in the game. He's going for one now. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. won the round, he did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Okay, good. Drink some water, breathe, relax, okay? Not a big deal, we've been knocked down before. It's okay, we're gonna get back up, we're gonna... 
All right, round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. He blocks the punch. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Real nice body kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Good right hand. Nice head kick. Strong defense there to block. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss. Level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. And here once more, Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. So he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you got to take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight. And you got to take your hat 